Thanks for checking out my ClickFunnels 2.0 review. Here I'm going to be going over some of the most popular features, kind of give you a demo of them, as well as talking about the pros and cons of using ClickFunnels 2.0. What hasn't changed about them is the fact that they do still come with a free 14-day trial, so at least if you haven't gotten to check them out, you can click the link in the description to do that. Let's begin. Now right off the bat, I love the fact that ClickFunnels is still all about funnels as you can see in the top left of the screen. This is gonna be the first thing you're probably going to do. Now when you go to create funnels, it's also great that they have some that you can choose from. As you can see, a wide variety include lead funnels, summit funnels, book, cart, challenge funnels, product launch, webinars, video sales letters, applications, as well as other funnels. If you're gonna be using ClickFunnels, you're most likely gonna be generating leads at some point. So as an example, I'm gonna click on the lead funnel right here. And if you ever needed help putting together, say, a lead funnel, not only can you watch some of my tutorials, but also Russell Brunson does a great job at talking about it himself. After all, he was the one who created the software. Nevertheless, scrolling down, you're going to see how each specific funnel works. This one has two steps. And as you can see here, there's going to be plenty of templates that you can choose based upon the funnel that you can create. Not only can you preview them, but you can also just kind of give a glance quickly to see what you want to choose. While there's not hundreds of them here, I at least like the fact that they've created simple and straightforward ones because those tend to convert just about every single time. As an example, let's just say we want to click on this one and we will use this. Let's select funnel. Now something else that ClickFunnels 2.0 has updated is going to be their sales funnel flow or just funnel flow in general. It used to be where they would stack steps on top of each other on the side of the left screen, but this is a great way to actually look and see what your funnel is going to look like. So when your traffic arrives to your first page, they're gonna go here. When they opt in, they're gonna go to the thank you page. If you wanna add more to it, simply click on the plus button right here. You can do that with creating a new page. You can add a conditional split path or even split test your landing pages, which is a great way to increase your conversions. Let's check out the drag and drop editor as in my opinion, it hasn't changed a lot and that's actually a really good thing. So here's a quick look at the drag and drop editor and what I like about it in case you haven't used ClickFunnels previously, pretty much the same aside from the fact that it looks a little bit differently. We're going to have our funnel flow on the left side in case you want to see where you are and where they're going to go next. And we have plenty of settings up at the top in case you wanted to edit those. However, when it comes to editing your actual opt-in page or at least the landing page here, it's all about double clicking and adding say your headline. All right, and if there's gonna be sections that we wanna add, we can easily do that as well. If we scroll to the bottom and anytime we see, say a row or a section, we can click right here, do add row. And then from there, let's say we wanna add one column. We have our sections, and this is where we can drag and drop anything we want. As you can see, ClickFunnels 2.0 does have a plethora of different settings and features that you can kind of drag in there, whether it's gonna be a video embed, images, buttons, boxes, inputs, image, headlines, you name it. And just to kind of give you an example, let's say we wanted to add an image in there, we drag and drop it right here. And just like that, we can change it around. So a nice, smooth little drag and drop editor. Like I said, it got a facelift. I think it looks better and it performs even a little bit better now. So overall, their drag and drop editor has certainly improved and that's a good thing. I thought it was great before. Now it's a little bit better, making it even a better experience for you when it comes to getting up and running with your landing pages. And speaking of that, we did talk about how they actually have those funnel templates, another great way itself. Go through, find a funnel template that you wanna utilize, kinda of like this, make your changes, and you're gonna be up and running fairly quickly, and that's exactly what you want when it comes to using software. And something else that has changed when it comes to ClickFunnels 2.0 is their ability to utilize apps. If you've ever seen their homepage, you might be familiar with the Santa Claus wish list of apps and features that they have. This is where they're going to be. In my opinion, I think it would be a lot better if they were more nicely condensed within the sales funnel building process. But this is more about going and finding the specific app that you want to utilize, adding it, and then from there you can go on and use it. For example, if you want to use email for like sending out broadcast, you can do that, which is already added automations is going to be a powerful effect you'll probably want to use especially if you're generating leads to send say your first follow-up email message and then from then on on you can continue doing that courses are going to be a new thing as well it's nice to see that they put more focus on this because in the original click funnels they were definitely lacking in that section i thought that the original click funnels was very polished they put so much time effort and money into it but it was always the memberships and the courses that lacked ever so slightly at least with this they focus more on it it's more of a separate app and I think they did a better job with it overall. Speaking of apps though, let's at least go into the automation so I can show you how it works. It is added so it's now going to be on the left side right here and I'm going to click on it there. All right, let's just say I wanted to do a follow-up email. I'm going to create a workflow for that. As you can see, we have automations and workflow. 
Now here's something else that's great about it. When you're creating say an automation workflow where you wanna create emails, it's gonna be the same process as putting a funnel together as you saw previously. I really like when software tools do that because you don't need to learn as much. You're back in a familiar spot. This isn't new to you. While you might have to set a trigger and do a few new things, overall, you know exactly what to expect. On the left are gonna be your stats. On the bottom left are gonna be where your workflow is. And of course, all the action is gonna be in the middle. Here's an example. Let's say we wanna set a trigger. Let's click here. Let's add a trigger. And the cool thing about this is that you can really customize the type of triggers you do based on specific event types. For example, if someone got banned from a community, you can do something. If someone enrolled in a course, if an email broadcast was clicked, if they opted in, if they ordered something, if there was a sale made, if there was a send email step sent, a subscription canceled, and so on and so forth, the flexibility of this allows you to go as simple or as complex as you want, and that's a good thing. It's really up to you, and you kind of control the power that you want to use within ClickFunnels here. For this one, let's just say we want to send a trigger anytime someone opts in. I'm going to choose a funnel on our lead funnel here and on a specific page for the opt-in. So anytime someone opts in, this is when the trigger is going to go off. Let's activate it. Let's save changes. All right, now that we have there, what we can do is go into sending an email. So if we click on this step right here, we can do send email. ClickFunnels also comes along with some email templates, which is always a great thing. For me personally, I like ones that are very simple and I like the Russell Brunson style. Very clean, no pictures pretty much, and I think that's a good thing. So if you have trouble when it comes to creating emails, I'd recommend using a simple email template like this. And you can always preview it, but I'm gonna go with choose. All right, now that we've created that, we can click here, we can edit our email. All right, and once again, kind of similar to the drag and drop editor here, but here's the cool thing. We have our text. Obviously business as usual, deleting it, entering more, changing it around. But what we can do is if we go to content here, if we wanted to add any of these things right here, all we have to do is drag and drop. It says drag it right here. And we have our button. It's the same thing with adding a video, adding icons, adding spacers. It really is drag and drop simple. And of course, if you wanted to remove it, you can click on it and then do the trash can. All right, so that's going to be the email editor. When we are done, simply click on publish. And of course, that means that anytime someone opts into our lead generation page, they're going to automatically get this, of course, when we polish up our email and put our free gift in it. But this is just showcasing how you can do that together. ClickFunnels is an all-in-one platform, so there's not many things that it can't do. And I think that's really going to help you because you don't have to duct tape a lot of other software tools together. It's really just about using ClickFunnels to help you save money in the process because you won't need to be buying all these different software just to run your business. Now, compared to when I originally used them, ClickFunnels 2.0 has leveled up, and honestly, it's a pretty sweet deal now. The fact that you get unlimited landing pages, sales funnels, and most of the core features while dodging that extra $200 a month, it's a chef's kiss moment for anyone tired of paying premium just to build a few extra pages, and allow me to quickly show you the pricing. And when I talked about saving $200 a month in the past, if you ever want to say get unlimited funnels, unlimited landing pages, and a lot of unlimited other features, you had to use the pro. However, they've actually improved with that and moved all the unlimited features to the startup. So it's only gonna cost you $97 a month instead of 297, and that's definitely a sweet deal. And as I talked about previously, the drag and drop editor still feels familiar, just with a little bit of a facelift, kind of like ClickFunnels put on a fresh outfit, but kept its old reliable sneakers. And with plenty of ready-made funnels to choose from, you won't have to spend hours figuring out how to duct tape your marketing together. And now for the not so terrible drawbacks. As I talked about before, ClickFunnels 2.0 rebranded a lot of its features as apps, which means you'll be adding and attaching things like you're customizing a new phone. It's not a deal breaker, but if you don't enjoy extra clicks, it's something to keep in mind. Also being an all-in-one platform means there's a lot to find. So if you're the type that gets lost in a Costco, you might need a map here. Now I'll admit, I was a little tough on ClickFunnels when they first rolled out 2.0, and to be fair, they kind of brought it on themselves, launching a major update that felt like it might have been rushed out the door a little too soon. There were bugs, quirks, and moments where it seemed like they were still figuring things out. But fast forward to today, right now, and ClickFunnels 2.0 finally feels so much more dialed in, like they've smoothed out the rough edges and landed where they actually wanted to be. So if you passed on ClickFunnels before, now might be the time to definitely give them another look. 
You can click the link in the description to get fast access to ClickFunnels and get that free 14 day trial. And that's going to conclude my ClickFunnels 2.0 review. I hope this helped you when it comes to making a decision. And of course, it's always best if you try for yourself just to make sure it's going to be perfect for you and your online business. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy ClickFunnels 2.0.